it's sort of a two-part question now. Okay. Um, first one being, what's the hardest part of being a homekeeper? What's, what's the toughest? I don't want to say the worst, but what is it about it that you, don't, that you probably enjoy the least? For me, routine. Okay. For me, I would say routine. I do not like waking up and I have to bathe the children, I have to change diaper, I have to um, change diaper again, I have to ensure the baby. So you feel like it, your day is the same every day? Yeah, the same. The same. It's, it, can, it, can, it can cause mental havoc. Doing that every day, that's routine. Routine kills. Yeah. So for me, that's... that. that is it possible that to disrupt be, that sometimes? Oh, I've disrupted mine. Okay. How? <laughs> I have. I... I work, I run a business online, okay. right? And initially I used to run it from home. So 90% of my business was done from my computer in my house. But as I started growing and, and you know, um, making progress, I do a lot more outside, like in a cafe or in a restaurant. I don't have an office So you se. just leave the space. Right, I leave that space. space, yes. I pick up my children about three. And once I get home with them, I'm probably done. My husband returns from work at about five. You know, I'm probably done, except I'm still pressing my phone and even responding to DMs and all of that. Yeah. 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 And what's the best part of it? Which one? Of being a homekeeper. Oh, having the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing them grow. Seeing them. My daughter told me recently, she looked at me and said, Mommy, you're ambitious. And I'm like, where did you get that kind of word from? Like, she said, because you work a lot. You just, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a good thing or a bad thing. Mm -hmm. you know, but seeing the children grow, seeing them, just seeing them grow. I mean, you had a child a year ago, and the child is two. And yeah. then the child turns three and turns eight and can talk with you. So seeing that, seeing that progress, that advancement, that development, as for me, it's, um, it's all that I could ask for. Do you think, you think, what do you think of parents, male or female, who sort of miss out on those moments? How fundamental do you think it is? Is it really important to be there for... I don't know, oh, she, she talked her first words, you know, her first day at school, you know, things like that. Are those things really important? My opinion, yes. Some other person... Can you be too busy, though? Sorry? Can you be too busy for yes, those moments? Yes, you can be. Oh, certainly. Especially if you are um, an, an employee somewhere, you have to go to work, then it can be. Because um, for me, I was, I was always at home, like I said. So I can speak for myself. So I saw everything. All three children, I saw every. I experienced everything. <laughs> I think it's my last daughter that I would say I didn't. I haven't seen much because I started working outside the home. But most of the most of the the um, formative age, the elementary part, where just a few months, six months, um, ten months, twelve months, I was there. So I would say uh, for me, it's important, especially with the first child, with the very first child, right? Why? Yes. You sort of learn from You've never had a child. You just <laughs> had this one. Just had this child. So, so you take all the lessons from that one. Uh -huh, you're excited and all that. Yeah, yeah. but um, I think whichever, whichever way, even if you couldn't experience those moments, there's always time. As far as you are alive, there's always time to, to, to catch up or fill in the missing, um, missing space. Yeah. Yeah, by being with the, just taking the child out, sitting with them, talking with them, doing homework as much as you can. Get to know them. Yeah. 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 What, what sort of businesses do you think are important? I mean, I, I guess you say you do something online is probably a good way because I know a lot of sort of homekeepers and, you know, stay-at-home moms say the same thing where, mm -hmm. you know, they want to just do something okay. else, you know, and have something that takes their mind away from that space where mm -hmm. there's so much routine mm -hmm. and everything is like based on a schedule, mm -hmm. you know. What sort of businesses? I guess the, the online platform is a good way to just, yes, it is. you're there, but you're sort of not there as well, yes, right? Yes, it is. You're, yeah. you're right. Yeah. You're right. What, what else kind of business are you doing in particular? Okay, so um, I sell online courses. I sell ebooks, my own ebooks. Okay. I offer coaching. So um, then I speak at events. So those are four things that I do. Mm -hmm. I speak, I get paid, I sell online courses, I make money from it, I sell ebooks, I make money from it, and then I also train. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I coach. Oh, yeah, yeah. coaching. So I make money from this. And these, all, all four are things you can do online. Okay? Online courses. I have an online school. I have an online school called School of Personal Branding. That's where I sell my online courses. Okay? And then I have an ebook as well where, I mean, an ebook, just like your, your hard copy printed book. You don't print this. You just you write it. You know, type in your computer, transport to PDF, get a cover for your book, you know, and then just sell it. And with automation, you can, you can make money from this thing every single day yeah. if, it, if it runs on autopilot. 
Then the same thing with the online courses as well. I mean, they are video courses. You record them like this, and then people watch them. So instead of you running, if you're a makeup artist, for example, instead of you running trainings and looking for venues or locations to run them, you just put it into an online course. And you create this thing just one time, but you sell it over and again to different people, hundreds of people every single month. So you cut that headache of having to get people. Running an event, a live event, is hard. It's hard. Because you're going to spend, and then you're going to spend money renting, and do, even if you're doing it in your shop, you're still spending money if you're paying rent. But when it's online, when you create an online course or write an ebook, it's just one time. The only thing you can do, you probably upgrade Not the course. Update, you can yeah. add something, a new lesson into the course that you just learned or something, or you feel should be in the course. But you make this thing just one time. And you can sell it over and again, and you can sell it all, all across the world, not just in your locality, because it's online, it's virtual, it's digital. So everything is done over the internet, and it's powerful. Yeah. It's powerful. If, if you could do this all over again, would you, would you still tow this path? I mean, I'm sure you have friends who have probably a 9 to 5 or who run full businesses, yeah. Yeah. Or, and probably they're also mothers as well. Yeah. And seeing sort of how they are sort of coping with family life, would mm -hmm. you do things differently? Would you still choose this path of being a full-time homekeeper? I will in capital letters. Why? <laughs> I will. Because I believe this is what I was even designed for. I believe, I didn't, I didn't start out wanting to sell online courses or e-books or coaching. I started out wanting to lend my voice um, for women, right? Because I saw a lot of things that we were not doing right, in my opinion, right? Um, all the nudity and then sexiness and all of that for me, okay? And I was like, okay, I can, I can lend my voice to this. So I wanted women to sit down with the opposite sex and have intellectual conversations. If you want to talk about sports, I want to talk about it with you, head on. You want to talk about the economy, let's talk about Putin. Let's talk about him, head on. Talk about Obama. So I wanted, I didn't want, I, didn't, I, I, I wanted to leave that part of, you know, you're with the, the opposite sex and we're talking about all those other things that we, yeah. that we're used to. So that was how I started. So I, I, that's how I started, really. It wasn't mm. about making money, per se. But if like you ask me if I was going to do this over and again or again, I would do it over and over. I'm going to do this if I die. I don't think it's going to change. I'm, not, I'm certain it's not going to change. Great stuff. How can we contact you? What's your face? Are you on Twitter, Instagram? I am more active on, on Instagram. Okay, what is your the, handle called? At Emily Speaks Life. Emily Speaks Life. At Emily Speaks Life. Life or Live? Life. L I F E. All right. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank Thanks you so for the much. amazing conversation Thank and good you. luck with Thank everything you. and your amazing family. Thank you. Thank you, my best your wife. We'll take a quick break now and be right back with some more entertainment. Please stay with us. <laughs>